found out my wife is cheating on me with my brother. I confronted her about it, she then called the cops on me and even got a restraining order against me. Wife cheated my fault. Been married for two years. Wife was acting sneaky and constantly hiding her messages. I went online and checked my cell phone bill and saw a number I recognized. It was my brother's. He's a freak head, unemployed, criminal, kid got taken by CPS I went there her phone and she was telling him she loved him and she likes how he duck her a. I wake her up and confront her and she was so nonchalant about it. I was going to therapy for severe anxiety so my medication wasn't in tune and I went off the deep end she called the cops on me for domestic mistreatment, I don't remember laying a hand on her and there were no marks or bruises. She got a restraining order against me and I had to move out of our marital home. We tried to work it out and she refused to continue to talk to him stating he was her friend. And she would not uninstall WhatsApp, so I couldn't see the text sent to him. I set up a date and I'm texting her and am seeing her location in an unfamiliar area near my brother's place. No response. I cooked dinner she finally responded she was on her way well my mom calls me and tells me she's at her house and appears to be intoxicated but she had been drinking but talking to my brother. I call her no response. Two hours later I call her and a cop answers and tells me she's been in an accident. I stayed up all night trying to figure out where she is and how I can help her. She got arrested for a DUI which she doesn't remember cause my brother had been giving her some strong Xanax. She calls me all night from jail and I show up to get her and my mom calls me and says she's at her house. I asked why she didn't call me or go to our home. She just looked at me. We went to go see her car and it's not drivable. She accused me of mistreating her she lost concentration and crashed. So her DUI is my fault. Right before my birthday she disappeared for three days after she said she needed time to think. I was at my mom's house and she was like someone picked up your brother in a new car but I couldn't see who it was. It was her. She turns her phone off for three days. And they had a duck fest and got high wherever they went. At this point I leave to stay with my ex-wife and she agrees to let me sleep on her couch. Fast forward she completely ignores me for seven months. No communication about the mortgage, bills nothing so I stopped paying them. I see her and ask her if she's gonna file for divorce she said no. I get served the following week dated a month ago. No more contact but my phone rings no caller ID over and over and it's her crying telling me she misses me and that she's in rehab. We agree to meet up in a random hotel near the rehab place and we talk about making it work. She agrees and we're okay after I go back home. Two days later she sends me a long message saying it's too late. So I didn't talk to her for two weeks, she comes back again and says we're working it out, another few days pass by and another it's too late. We hadn't done anything but talked on the phone and seen each other twice. At this point she admits she was talking to another guy and sending him private photos for two months all while still talking to my POS brother. November comes by she says she needs time to work on herself and see if we can come together on terms for divorce. We both work for an airline and she can see my schedule. I went to Hawaii and she messaged me asking me how I liked it. Ignored it I get a message saying she wants to see me. I agree and she had snack and treats for me like she was trying to impress me. She asked for a kiss and I agreed. We messaged after we went our own ways and then she texts me she's mad at me. I ask her to call me and I tell her I'm done. So she tells me the same trying to act like she won. Hangs up and I get an email from my lawyer last night with her saying I've been mistreating her and to leave her alone. LOL she initiated every phone call and I have proof. I'm just so done with her. I can't wait for my divorce to be final. She's so insistent she's gonna keep the house. Which is on a pandemic pause and the amount due is $18,000 so far. Only option is to refinance or pay that amount. I'm not gonna let her refinance and I don't want the house. I just don't think if you cheat you should get a prize. I'm okay if it goes into foreclosure. As of last month she stated she wasn't seeing my brother but went on dates and probably had says, with the other guy. Whoosh. Just needed to get this off my chest. I don't talk to my brother and avoid my family to ignore their criticism and ridicule. Run. Away. Faster. I don't understand why men like you like to get disrespected. Why not just move on? I had a slight glimmer of hope we could work it out. 
the longer we talked the more I saw how crazy she was. OP, it was over when she was ducking your brother. The nonchalant attitude should have been a clue. LOL, you can work it out, don't give up on her. LOL. The best thing you can do is move far away. If your job can be transferred to another city, that is. Far away. No contact with her or your family. They enabled your brothers and her destructive behavior by not telling you about it. Start a new life, get therapy, try to heal, and then see what joy can be found free of self-absorbed and evil people. Run away fast. Stop playing yo-yo. You are never going to heal or move on in this situation. This is so unhealthy. Cut all ties get counseling. Cut out of your life what is needed before it ruins your life completely. Yes, amputate immediately. I caught my wife in bed with her best friend's husband. Now, she's flirting all over me, keeps texting me, and talking like we could make things work again. I've been no contact with my STBX. The divorce is almost done. Since I caught her in bed with her best friend's husband I was angry. I had zero interest in her or her excuses. I'm almost at the finish line and I ducked up. She texts me, I had her unblocked, and it sounds like she's threatening to hurt herself. I contact her to see she's okay. I should have called the police. Anyways, we start talking and she invites me over. By now, it's late and I've been drinking. I go there because I'm an idiot. She's flirting and all over me. I had a lapse in judgment and sleep with her. It's been a while but I never was so angry while sleeping with someone. I was rougher than usual and she loved it. She keeps texting after I leave. After some time I realize, I opened a Pandora's box. She's talking like we could work. I have to tell her I'm done. We're getting this divorce. She calls me and leaves this long message rambling. She's drunk. She's likely high and telling me that she's still seeing her AP. I couldn't listen to the whole thing. I have all the answers and more but why did it have to be like this? Yes I messed up here. I'm pretty upset with myself. It's NC from now on. I need this divorce to happen ASAP. Messing up is human. Now. Get. That test done and stop beating yourself up about it. You were vulnerable and she took advantage. Thank you. I'm beyond angry with myself. I will be getting the test done too. Don't be. She knew what buttons to push. She knew you would rush to save her in her time of need. You're healing, be kind to yourself smile don't kick yourself too hard you are not the first one and won't be the last one to slip up. Hopefully you used protection. Give yourself a break, but be sure to go and see. Hey don't beat yourself up over this, a lapse in judgment, move on and don't look back. Does the Ohm's wife know that they are still seeing each other? She does and has recently began the process of divorce. I just forward those messages to AP let him know what his prize is up to. Do it after they move in together. I thought to do it. I don't want to start a war but it's tempting. When the divorce is settled, then send the messages to AP and his wife. Don't beat yourself up too bad. Feelings don't go away so easily. My ex just started flirting and trying to get me back in bed after years and it's hard not to fall back into that. You have answers now you didn't have before. Take them and run. That's what it was. This was who I thought I'd be growing old with. The feelings don't disappear in an instant. I do have the answers I was looking for and will be going full NC. I hope you used a rubber. She could be trying to get pregnant by you. Was just thinking this. I hope you were safe. I was safe and used a rubber. I wouldn't put it past her to try to get pregnant. LOL, it's okay, don't beat yourself up about it. I'm sure there was an animalistic feeling you had that has now gone right. So, how to proceed? 1. Get tested. 2. Quietly push the divorce faster. 3. String her along. Make sure her mood towards you is good so you get what you want in the divorce. If need be, lie to her, tell her that in order for you to work, you have to start from scratch, tell her and make her believe that it is the best way to do things. 
Convince her if need be by telling her you are looking to book a trip away one week after divorce is settled so you can go away on holiday with her and reboot your relationship. Keep it up and until you get everything you want, hit her with a RO immediately after and ghost her. Thank you. Yes I did feel better afterwards. I'll be speaking to my attorney today. Worldwide comments of the day. First story, there is no salvation, divorce her. First, dude, get out of there. She is already gone. Don't be her convenience. Second, girl, leave. He wants to have his cake and eat it too. He does not know what love is. Make her wish come true as your daughter is old enough she will understand if explained. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.